Sacred Souls, although it's it, it's a very open title and it ha can have many different meanings, I think there's perhaps also we talked about personal sensibilities that are coming through in that in terms of our own personal lives and maybe some sense of loss that we both have suffered. We talked about that as well. So I hope that the work will maybe for, for us both will be something which transcends the everyday. When I paint, I feel like uh, inside me I can think really clear. It's like a meditation. My name is Paco de Quesada. I'm from Seville, Spain, and I have lived in Bexil since 2011. My paintings transmit a sense of fading realities. The amphora in my paintings symbolize the Andalusian woman of the particular time, specifically the post-war generation of the 1940s. At this time, this amphora were used to transport water and as such were an essential item of daily life. For me, they are a reminder of how hard these women's lives were. I'm Alistair Carl Kendry. I moved to Hastings in the last three years. I've managed to set up my studio in my house where I make lots of my work and what I find inspirational is, is the fact that it's opposite the sea and the sense of erosion and weathering has been an inspiration for for my work as much as the changing mood of the sky and the atmosphere which I see really every day. I think that's the beauty isn't it of making things that you just lose yourself and you go into a total other world which is you know something so different from our everyday existence it's 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 another world of, of um, expressing yourself and you know, just um, finding out about all these memories and histories that begin to filter through as you're, you're in that sort of process. It's very beautiful, it's a very beautiful experience. Going back to my own sort of sensibility and my sort of Swedish roots where I used to spend my summers always when I was a child in Sweden and um, you know, the kind of things that you know I have memories of and recollections of my grandmother and of, of the sense of many of my relatives had paintings around them and you know I remember the the kind of um, senses of smell all of those things they kind of filter through into my own sensibility and of course I also obviously have this love of gold and that, that goes back to obviously 13th and 14th century painting if you're looking at painters like Duccio, Italian painters. I notice that you know really well the, the, the tradition of the painting, mm, the mm. art and, and the modern art too. Mm, it does mm. really important, the, yes. the, the balance. The balance, yeah. The balance between the old, old. master and the new artists and new movement. Yes. And I feel a good connection. Uh, I, I think the thing that struck me about Paco was his immediate sense of passion about his work and his art history knowledge and 
I could see that he was immediately a serious artist and I immediately felt that we would work really well together and I think our work would complement each other. Although there is this contemporary spirit which we both have a sense of, mm -hmm. we both also have a sense of looking back to the past mm -hmm. uh, which feeds into into the new and into to the present as well. So I just, I, I personally felt that we would work really well together with a, having a show together. When I first arrived in Hastings, I discovered the Hastings Arts Forum and immediately found it was a wonderful place where fellow artists could exhibit and it's a great place for the artistic community to come together, uh, particularly to show all these different ranges, range of different artists and different types of work. And um, obviously, the, the the openings and the previews are a fantastic, a fantastic event uh, in terms of all one's fellow artists and colleagues coming together.